So I'm taking a bit of a walk this morning because I want to show you something. So these are some new build houses that are on the same development as our house. Our house was completed about four years ago. We moved in um, at the end of June, um, but these ones are only just being occupied now. And you can see these have all got solar panels built into them and uh, they've got roughly 10. Um, there's uh, one just behind there. Uh, there is uh, five on um, one side and five on the other. These other ones have got uh, 10 on the roughly south facing side. And this big one at the end here, this has 10 on this side and 10 on the other side. That's roughly east-west facing. Now you see these are it's quite a nice neat install, uh, 10 panels or 20 panels depending. Um, and uh, they're sort of nicely inset to the roof, which is um, very slick and neat. So I was wondering how to feel about this. And I think generally speaking, I'm probably pretty positive about new builds. Uh, getting solar panels installed as standard and in fact there are plans afoot to make it mandatory to add solar panels to all new builds. There's actually a very interesting um, video by Spirit Energy, I'll um, put a link up in the top corner, uh, where they actually went to Parliament to see um, a bill being debated about this very subject. Um, and I was thinking well yeah I'm probably pretty positive about um, mandating new builds to get solar panels but would I feel happy about getting a house with solar panels built in um, if it was a new build. So our house was a new build four years ago, as I mentioned, and it didn't have solar panels. And I saw that as a perfect opportunity to add solar panels to the house and I could put as many as I wanted on there. If it already had solar panels built in, would I have got as many as I have now? We've now got 24 solar panels. Uh, and as I showed the ones on our site here, um, typically they're only putting about 10 on, um, which is probably what, four kilowatt system, something like that. Now I understand why they've done that. It's probably to, you know, make it a bit easier with G98 applications so they don't have to worry about, uh, you know, the applications for G99 to the DNO, that sort of thing, um, which is something we had to do, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, if, uh, if I'd had just a, a 10 panel system, would I have been satisfied with that? Would I want to add more? Um, I think probably I would want to add more, but adding you know, extra panels, as, as I've shown in my recent videos, it comes with um, certain caveats, which uh, you know, make it more difficult. Um, so yeah, uh, would I want more panels to start with? Um, is it something you can actually specify if you're buying a new build before they put the panels on? Can you specify more? So I think for most people, 10 panels would probably be perfectly satisfactory. Um, it's only people like me and maybe others who watch this channel that would be unsatisfied with, with 10 panels and want to add more. But it's a lot better than some of the new builds you see around um, with maybe like four panels on. That seems uh, almost completely pointless and maybe a bit of a box sticking exercise on, on the part of the developers, to be honest. But yeah, four seems very, uh, very stingy. Um, but if 10 became a sort of minimum standard for this sort of proposal, then uh, I think I'd be uh, pretty positive about that and would, uh, would certainly get behind it. Um, anything less, almost not really worth worrying about, to be honest. So let me know what you think. How do you feel about the possibility of all new builds having solar installed as standard? That's it from me today, but I thought I'd just leave you with this uh, lovely shot of all of the wild garlic coming out in the area near me. It's lovely and beautiful out here. I was expecting the weather to be dreadful this morning, so I'm very pleased that it's held out a little bit longer. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.